think there's probably a greyhound out there that'll match any circumstance. She's the most loving dog I've had. She's become part of the family very quickly. To sum Isla up in three words, I'd probably say daft, sleepy, and affectionate. Lazy, greedy, <laughs> but loving. She picked me. Her temperament, it's this. This is her temperament. The whole experience of having the Greyhound, it's just, it's just, it's just been so easy to home her. The myths are like, oh, they must have like loads of exercise. They don't. I don't know what concerns would people have about having a Greyhound. They shouldn't have any concerns because they're awesome. When we go to the park, she gets on with all the dogs in the park. Our friend's kid is a bit scared of dogs, but this one, she took two straight away because she's just so friendly. They kind of tick all, all boxes for us, our lifestyle, because they are so low maintenance, but then we quite like going outdoors, we like, quite like going camping and things like that, and they'll quite happily potter along next to you when you, when you do other things. House training was really easy, little tricks and things that she picked up quite quickly. We get a lot of people in here that, that, that have dogs. If anybody's talking about getting dogs, we're almost to the point of being pushy, trying to get people to get greyhounds because they are so, so good, and, and we, we know that they'll match families so so well you just need to find the right greyhound i think the the rehoming centers are really good at matching up the dog for the family they make really really good pets really good pets get a greyhound they are the best the best animals um, they're just so loving and friendly and they're just awesome so just get a greyhound or two get two greyhounds